in the Bosco Pipe UK. It's the 31st of March 2016. It is Thursday afternoon, um, around 4.30. Um, I've um, finally taken delivery of some stuff which I've been waiting for from America. It's been sitting at my cousin's house for quite some time now. Um, and uh, finally, somebody's come over and brought the stuff back uh, for me. Some of it is some stuff which probably quite hard to get here, um, if at all. Um, so I just thought I'd share that with you. I've got a Yabo as well, um, which I'll try and include um, in this as well. Okay, so the first thing is um, I saw on IG some time ago, LJ Peretti, the shop in um, the b and in uh, America, um, stuck on IG that they've got some uh, esoterica stuff. So I promptly phoned them up and I managed to get a couple of tins of Margate. Um, I would have managed to get some Penzance, but it was flying off the shelves and um, I tried to buy it online and it wouldn't let me do it because it was overseas. So I phoned them up and by the time I phoned them up, this is all they had left. They had some other stuff as well, but not nothing that I would have liked. So this is a full English tobacco. Um, I did open one of them before. I think it's that one. Yeah, it's got a pretty strong Latakia smell there. And it actually smells quite similar to the uh, English Legacy that I got from Briar Boy yesterday. Um, so it'd be interesting to see how that compares. I think that one, although I've only had one bowl of it, I think the Briar Boy one needs a little bit of sweetness. But uh, it did get some halfway through the bowl, but uh, I've got to smoke it some more to really get to know what it is. So that was the first uh, bit of tobacco that came in. Um, and then, believe it or not, I managed to get some Sleepy Hollow from Strauss Tobacconist. Um, I've heard so much about this, and obviously being in the UK, it's virtually impossible to get it here. Um, again, I think I saw this on IG. Um, I had phoned them up um, actually a while beforehand and I just had a chat with a the guy there and I said that I was interested in trying it out and you know do they ever um, do runs besides for in the fall um, and he said they do occasionally when they manage to get the ingredients together they'll sometimes do a run um, and that's what happened um, I signed up for their newsletter or I think it was and I got the, the message I found them up straight away and, and ordered it and I think I got the last bits of, of this run um, so I'm just going to give it a smell so I've never smelled it before It's got a very sweet, caramelly, vanilla-y kind of uh, smell to it. It's supposed to be pumpkin, I think. It's supposed to be the main casing on it, the flavour. It's very uh, moist, even though it's been sitting around um, in America for a while, it's pretty moist. Um, now, this is bringing me on, before I open the rest of that bag, it brings me on to something else. I bought this, I ordered this um, Custom made Joe Case pipe back in December last year. I got it in February, I think, January, end of January. And I've unveiled it already on YouTube, but I said to myself, I've got to speak, keep this for something special. I haven't smoked it yet. And when I heard that Sleepy Hollow was a pumpkin based um, tobacco, I decided coloring wise this worked, would work very well. Um, so I kept it for this. Um, so I'm going to give this the first light with a bit of um, Sleepy Hollow. I'm going to just take a little pinch to give it a try. I'm going to let it sit out for a bit, for a few minutes at least. It looks like it needs more, but I'll just give it some time, just otherwise I'll be constantly lighting it. It smells delicious. It smells very, very uh, sweet. Okay, so we'll set that over there. Not over there. Okay, next thing along is another pipe, which um, again, this is a uh, no, this wasn't a custom pipe, it was off um, his website. This is a Paul's pipe, Paul Menard. Um, ever since I bought that um, bronze dog, the small bulldog, which I gifted to um, Smoking Grandpa Bones, um, I've kind of fallen in love with his products, with his uh, whole. Um, attitude towards pipe making and generally to life um, so anyway so I watch his stuff all the time and I saw this one 
and I went for it. So this is a reverse calabash um, Dublin, it looks like. But it has some interesting grain there, some beautiful grain. Um, I haven't brought out any lighting, so the lighting is not great. But this is uh, like a translucent kind of purple colour with little bits of glitter inside there. I'll, I'll try and show it again another time. There you've got the PP um, for Paul's pipes. Lovely grain. Um, it's really actually the grain which caught me more than anything else. I just love the grain on this. The blast on it is really nice. It captures that the ring grain there very, very nice. Um, and the, I like the top as well. Interesting uh, rustication there. Interesting detail. Um, and just all round I like the pipe. And being a reverse calabash as well, it added some interest to it. So I went for that and I'm pleased that I managed to get that through now. I didn't think it was as big as it is. It's quite a decent pipe, but it's nevertheless reasonably light. It's quite a good, well balanced. I'll see that once I really smoke it to get a really good idea of it. Uh, but it should smoke cool being a reverse calabash. Let's get a swig of coffee. Been talking too much. Okay, the next thing is a yabo. This is not a purchase. This is an actual genuine yabo. This comes from Lunchy eighty. Is it 88 or something like that? I can't remember his uh, username on um, YouTube. This um, was a response I got from this gentleman. Um, I'm going to put his details in the bucket once I'll, because I'm not at home now. I'm in the garage, um, so I'm not in front of the computer. So I'll get his details later on. But basically, I stuck up a, a video a while ago um, saying that I'm looking for Penzance, and um, I was offering a pipe in exchange. And anyway, he got in touch with me and he said that he's got a, he doesn't need the pipe or he doesn't want the pipe, but I should um, rather put together some local um, blends, of t local tobacco blends instead. So I've been doing that ever since. I've been putting together stuff which I, um, whenever I can. So I'm going to be sending him a Yabo back, um, a nice little parcel back as soon as I've finished putting it together. Um, so I'm excited. He said he put some other stuff in there as well, so I'm really excited to... Uh, Open this and see where we're going. Spyderco UKPK. This has become my knife of choice now. I did have, um, I still do have uh, uh, Emerson Kershaw, but I very rarely use it because this is so much nicer to use, so light, so as I've always said, ergonomically it's brilliant. Four H old duck fired ready rub. Oh, that's a generous uh, little baggie there. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, oh, I can see it's ready rub. That's what he means. So that, is, that was a flake. Not getting much aroma off that. Boswell's Northwards. I know this one very, very well. I've got a fair amount of this. Thank you very much. And I understand why you've sent that because we wouldn't normally be able to get that here. Oh my goodness, we have some sticks. Uh, maybe he's been watching my videos. Since um, getting into cigar smoking, that's obviously a nice, beautiful bonus for me, that. This is uh, Noventa by Toronto. El Rey del Mundo imported, made by hand. What does it say there? Esteban Carreras. I've got so much to learn about cigars. So much out there. It's got a little pigtail top there. This is really, really generous of you, man. I really appreciate it. You know, when you're getting into a hobby and somebody, you know, recognizes that and thinks about you. It makes all the difference because there's some thought gone into this. Oh. 
Seattle Pipe Club uh, Plum Pudding. I've been wanting to try this. I did manage to get the Seattle Pipe Club um, Mississippi River, which I not really like. This smells a little bit more ratatouille to me. But as I've said in my previous videos, it's very possible that the uh, Seattle um, the Mississippi River, River that I've had, there was some issue with it because I just didn't know it at all, it didn't taste like anything on earth. Cornellendeel Mountain Camp. I've never had any Cornellendeel. I see them all the time online. I've always wanted to get some. This is a huge baggie. This has got to be a couple of ounces worth. This is an English one by the time of it. I think it's an English one. It's going to need a little bit of humidification because it's been sitting around in the first for a while. Wow, this is so generous. A really generous. Uh, uh -huh. And there she is, Penzance. This is very, very exciting for me. Um, I've been looking to get one of these for a very, very, very long time. Well, a very long time. I've only started in uh, around that time, October 15. So that was roughly when I started pipe smoking. Wow. very nice you get a lovely um, dark sort of that's going to be that, the latter key in there okay it smells like a Virginia like a really rich um, Virginia um, tobacco mixed with a bit of latter key um, I've I've got I uh, recently started smoking um, Jermaine's special latter key um, and that's I've really enjoyed that, and I'm wondering whether the they're similar products, but it doesn't smell like this. This smells a lot richer, a lot more like a multi smell, like a deep fruity multi kind of smell. If that makes any sense. Oh well, I'm really looking forward to uh, giving that a go. Man, I can't thank you enough. This is an extremely, extremely generous Yabo. Um, a lovely box of, of goodies here. And you're quite right when you said you're going to chuck in some goodies. You certainly did do that. And I will reciprocate in kind. Um, okay, I'm just going to give this its... Put this Joe Case's cherry. Well, sorry, it came out wrong. Joe Case's pipes cherry. Right. This is still, this reminds me of um, Malta Dolce from, I um, can't remember the name, it's very wet still. I'm not sure this is a good idea. I'm only going to put a bit in. I don't want to goop up the bottom of this bowl. Okay, it's not even half a bowl. Peterson lighter. Old boy star, great lighter. Even crackles like Modern Doctor. I'm not going to get the absolute flavour because it's a new pipe. But I said to myself that I'm going to keep this pipe for something special. And by all accounts, Sleepy Hollow is that thing. So, pipe smokes nice, very nice easy draw, whistling a little bit but I've got to pack it right. Did I bring a tamper out with me? I'm getting pumpkin yet. Definitely sweet, rich. Joe, I'm loving this pipe. Really nice dimensions, really light. Sits in the mouth, beautiful. 
Mm, very nice. I should really put a softy on there, don't want to ruin it. Um, Flavour wise, very mild, zero bite so far. Very mild. Sweet. Uh, sorry, my phone went there. Um, yeah, so it's really sweet. Um, I'm tasting even a little bit of almond essence kind of type of flavor. Um, caramel. At the back of the throat, I'm, I'm starting to feel, taste a little bit of that pumpkin. Yeah, I assume that's the pumpkin flavor. It's st definitely got similarities to multidolce. Malto Dolce, whatever it's called. It's a really nice dessert kind of smoke. It's sweet and it's it's so smooth. It's extremely smooth. It's very nice. Very nice, but it's a very gentle, mild, sweet dessert kind of uh, tobacco from what I've um, experience so far it's only my first few draws of this uh, blend that I've ever had in my life so I need to spend more time with it but what I'm uh, tasting so far is really nice after coming away from when, when you have sort of moved over to English you kind of you could easily say that it lacks a bit of spice and a bit of kick but um, it's actually not it, it's it's its own thing and, and like it's it, when you're smoking English, you want to come away from it sometimes because it's it's quite heavy, and you don't always want to smoke it. And this would be a lovely blend to come away to. I want to see what the quality of the tobacco is like, and how it smokes through, and how it burns down, and how the flavour um, stays consistent. That's going to be important for me because I do find with some of the other blends, even the good ones, which I like and are my go-to's, such as some of the Boswells. And this is not a criticism of, of Boswell's, but most of them are fine. But one or two of them, you, you do get a bit of a, an ash flavour, or you get a little bit of, um, it goes a little bit slightly off the, the flavour as you go down the bowl, which is understandable, but the, some of them really don't. And this is, I'd like to see what happens with this one as you get through the bowl. Very nice, interesting flavour. Right, I've got to leave it there now because uh, my kids are coming home from school. So I'm going to wrap it up and say that I've really enjoyed this. Thanks for staying along on, on the various uh, box openings. And um, I'm sure I will uh, be revisiting this uh, Sleepy Hollow in the near future. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Hi, back again. Um, I've had a break of about of an hour or so. Um, I just uh, didn't feel I could uh, go away from this video without properly acknowledging um, this um, great yabo that I got and this actually comes from um, his username is lunchy83 and his name is Wayne I don't know if he wants me to say his full name but anyway his name is Wayne and um, have a look on YouTube you can see his uh, videos lunchy83 um, and what a generous generous gesture um, if you have a look at my channel you'll see my uh, uh, video as I mentioned earlier looking for Penzance and um, he just said, I'll send you some, no worries, just send me some blends from uh, local blends here in the UK, and that's it, that's all he wants, um, which I'm obviously going to do, but look what he sent me, one, two, three, four, three cigars, and the Penzance itself, I think that's just such a brilliant example of what the YTPC is all about, and um, I want to thank you again, Wayne. Um, an extremely generous um, package. Um, as I said earlier, I will reciprocate in kind. Um, and I look forward to being in touch with you in the future. Perhaps we can uh, swap interesting stuff in the future as well. Um, thank you very much again. Really, really appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to trying it. In actual fact, um, I'm going to try it now um, with this pipe. So I've actually smoked the, um, as, I, as you've seen earlier, I tried the... Uh, Sleepy Hollow. It was actually very nice. I carried on smoking it outside. I went shopping before and I smoked it and it was it's actually 
I'm appreciating the flavours more. Um, but um, after I've smoked it a couple of times, I'm gonna, I'll do a proper review. It's got some really nice colouring on that. You got, can see the sugary kind of coming through there. It feels even caramelised. This is in this in the way it's breaking off is very similar to. Um, it's very similar to the special Atakia flake from Jermaine's, which is Jermaine's is the company that makes Esoterica, so that obviously makes a lot of sense. I'm just curious to see whether this is going to be very similar to Special Last Gear Flake. I mean, I haven't smoked it that many times to be an expert on it, but um, we'll see. Anyway, so it would be it's a nice, high quality tobacco to uh, start this one on. Oh, I've just cleaned the lens. I think the lens was a little bit hazy. Okay, so let's just uh, put some of that in. Okay, that's enough for now. Beautiful. Paul. Sorry, I didn't thank you before. Paul, Paul Menard. An awesome pipe, as usual. Fantastic piece of briar. Beautiful detail, beautiful um, stem. Beautiful button, as usual, as per your trademark. Um, I've got to say, what stands out for me, besides for everything, but what stands, what's standing out for me at the moment is the precision of the stem joining the shank. It is absolutely, probably the best joint I've ever seen. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. I think this is probably the best joint I've ever seen on any pipe. And I've got a decent array of good quality pipes. I mean, they're all great, but this, I think, has got to be, as I say, the best joint I've ever seen. Phenomenal. Awesome. Looking forward to this. Let's go. My first ever breaths of Penzance. Once again, it's going to be impossible for me to get a really good impression of the flavour. It's a brand new pipe. It's the first time I'm smoking it. I'm not going to have a full bowl. <clears throat> so I'm just going to tell you a couple of just how it feels now off the bat. Just gotta get it fired up properly. Okay, so the Latakia is there. It's not as pungent as uh, some of the other Latakia blends that I've got. But I think the first thing which hits me straight away is the sweetness, which is beautifully sort of absorbed together in that flavor of Latakia. Very unusual. Off the bat, I think it is quite similar to the special Atakia flake, but I think this may be a notch up in terms of the of the, the blending. So possibly the um, proportions of Latakia to Virginia. Um, it's just the the Latakia and sweetness, the measure of one against the other, the proportion of one against the other, I think is much more um, seamless, I think is a good word to say. Um, it, it comes through as one united flavor, yet you can still feel the Latakia and the sweetness and so on, but it's, it's just, um, nothing hits you too heavily in the face, um, but you kind of, sen you can sense both of them equally, but it's still a Latakia blend. That is the sweetness and the Latakia. It's got a very refined, smooth kind of uh, feel to it. Um, it's got a slight mustiness, and not in a good way, um, as a sort of back note to the Latakia and the sweetness. Like an earthy mustiness. which I think is 
from the latakia, but the way it blends over together with the sweetness is kind of producing that kind of back note of uh, mustiness, which I think is very nice. So far, so good. Getting a little bit more of some uh, flavour coming through now. Getting a bit of nuttiness, a bit of uh, more body coming through. Uh, Boswell's Northwoods, um, which is a Latakia flake, well known, um, has that nuttiness which I really like. It has they, they have that in, in a lot of their blends. It's that nutty, roasted kind of uh, flavour, which I really like, and Northwoods has that. And I um, I really enjoy smoking Northwoods, exhaling it, and then breathing it a little bit back through my nose. And that somehow gives me that nutty flavour, that roasted aroma, which rounds it off for me very nicely. Very nice, very mild. Very enjoyable. Okay, um, okay. So just to finish off, uh, Wayne, thanks very much for a beautiful package. Um, it's phenomenal. Um, Joe, Joe Case, your pipe that I tried earlier, and another phenomenal pipe. I uh, carried on smoking it, enjoyed it. Uh, really nice and lightweight. It's easy, easy smoke, beautiful draw, a great smoke. Thank you very much for that. It was worth waiting for. It's been sitting in my cupboard now for about three months, waiting for the right tobacco, and I'm really pleased with the choice that I made, waiting for Sleepy Hollow on that. So thanks for that. Paul, another great pipe. This is pipe number three from you, um, and um, you know, testament to your amazing work. Like I said before, that is amazing. Beautiful button, beautiful blast. And the whole pipe, every detail of the pipe is just stunning. And it feels great in the hand. It's quite chunky. It feels good in the hand, but light at the same time. And it's my second reverse calabash. Um, so I need to really compare this in, in another pipe and see if, the, if there's a difference in if it smokes cooler or not. But anyway, so everybody, thank you very much for all your uh, contributions to this. Um, I'm sorry if it's taken um, a bit too much of your time. This video has been very long. Um, but I thank you all very much for sticking with it and I wish you a extremely enjoyable, relaxful, restful, peaceful weekend. Thank you very much and keep it real.